Hello guys, so today's video I'm actually sharing with you my kitchen declutter. This took me two days to, go, to do, which wasn't too bad considering I do have all the kids here. We were homeschooling, I was trying to get it done in between other things and shockingly I did it in two days and I thought it would take me like a week to do. Now the whole point of this was to clean everything out, declutter um, anything that we're just not using anymore, see if anybody needed it, uh, leave it for my nephew who was staying here uh, because we are going to be moving in the next month or so. And I know it seems silly to take everything out, you know, declutter it to then have to take it out of the cabinets again. But my whole thing is, is I've moved several times. This will be my first time with three kids and I am just at the point where I want to just be able to take it out of the cabinet and be like, that's all coming with us or that cabinet staying for Cody or, you know, I don't want to have to be like, oh, I still need to go through it and see, okay, do we really use this? Do we use that? I'd rather have it just on pack a box and go, um, especially because we are probably going to slowly move, um, which will be nice. So like we could just take stuff from the cabinets, you know, have paper plates for a while or something. Um, we can do it slowly, which is nice. I'm kind of really excited about that. So that's why I'm kind of doing it ahead of time so that I'm not bringing with us stuff that we don't use anymore or expired stuff. Like I did find a couple of expired things in a few cabinets. So it's like packing that and then going to put it in a new cabinet and finding out it's expired or, you know, it's just, it makes more sense to do it ahead of time. So I'm going to show you the kitchen, everything that got done, everything I throw out. I'm actually going to be going to Goodwill today and dropping off some stuff that we have. So that'll be awesome. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so here's the kitchen. Here's where we're decluttering. It is early in the morning, so you can hear the monitor and I'm kind of being kind of quiet because I don't want to wake anybody. The boys are up, but we still like to be quiet. So I'm going to be taking care of all these cabinets, <laughs> um, kind of just going through, seeing what we use, we don't. So down here is like a lot of our big stuff. There's a lot of wasted space back there just because of the way the cabinets are. So I definitely want to like go through and see what we've got. Um, so we're all our pots and pans and some baking stuff, but I know that some of the stuff over here I don't use. And then up here, oh, this cabinet, I swear, always needs some help. This is like all the baking and like spices and just miscellaneous. As you see, like we keep our tablets up there, candy, which I really should go through. So I definitely need to go through those guys. And then this cabinet up here, as you can see, it's, it's hard for me to get up there that whole thing i don't know what's going on <laughs> and a lot of this stuff like i've gone through it and i know a lot of it is it's not expired but like there's so much wasted space but the height of all the bottles like they don't fit well like here i don't think they might fit on that shelf so i'd like to purr it down more before we leave this one i'm really not going to even worry about because this is like our pantry kind of stuff um, and this is like all the snacks. The drawers aren't bad. This is like our towels, our face cloths, we've got batteries, like our miscellaneous. I keep some tools out for like when I need to replace batteries. Did not show you guys the drawers over here. This is like all of our like utensils. I mean, I do keep like my wooden stuff up here, but I definitely do want to go through this because there is some stuff we just don't use. And this is the junk drawer, which like all the bags and stuff and I literally just went through that so I'm not even worrying about that um I'll come over here this cabinet has our plates and bowls and then up there is a mess that's like what is that oh that's the ice cream maker those containers right there are actually too small they're freezer ones they're from um where is it from oh pamper chef I actually got them free uh because I did a uh I did a party and I got those free, which was great, but I tried using them and they're just too small for us because we're a family. I feel like if it was like one or two people, so I might see if my mom or my in-laws want them. Um, our cookbooks, I really need to go through that because I don't use all of them. And then like those two smaller ones, we use like three recipes out of there. So I might just like make copies of the recipe and put them in the binder and then just put them away. Let's just see our plate binder here. I think everyone's under the sink is just like kind of crazy. I honestly don't know what's going on back there. So, ugh. yeah, I need to go through that. So we'll deal with that. And then up here above 
the sink. This is actually all of my nephew's stuff. Um, if you don't know, he lives with us, but he'll be staying. I want to go through here. I have like vases. Some of them I just don't use and there's some bigger cups we just don't use anymore. So I want to go through that. And then up here, yeah, like I know like that pink cup in the back, haven't used it in like forever. That cup Mia doesn't actually like. So I need to just go through like the Batman cup in the back. See that one? We don't use that anymore. So I just really need to go through them. It's gonna take me some time. I'm not gonna get it all done today. Like I said, whew, my hair looks pretty. It's not gonna all get done today, but I figure I started. I'm gonna get a box ready so that anything that I'm gonna donate, I can just put in there and it's ready to go. And that way, as I slowly go through it over the next week, I can get going. Like if I have a few minutes, I can tackle like maybe one cabinet. Cause I know I just don't have the time to just pull everything out and do everything at once, but I just want to start somewhere. So I figure if I get the box ready, put it in the closet so that I can just add to it as I go, I'm going to put it in our coat closet and then just do a little bit at a time. I feel like it'll make a big difference. Okay. Almost forgot. There's above my fridge. Ugh, there's these cabinets. Honestly, best day. I'm, oh my God, there's cookbooks up here. See, this is what I'm talking about. There's like stuff I just don't use. Um, those are actually ice packs that used to go into the kids' lunch boxes that we just don't even use anymore. Glasses that I'll probably pack away. Some stuff we just don't use anymore. Uh, some more random stuff. So this is stuff I'll definitely have to go through and kind of say it's up here. We really, like I said, I didn't even know that stuff was up there. So definitely gonna have to go through it, see what we got. Ugh. This is like that one area like you just don't go into. <laughs> okay, so I pulled everything out from under the sink and I actually washed it down in there. And then this was everything else here, minus this, because I think I'm gonna use this for a lot of like the rags and stuff. Um, so this is what was in there. Uh, I'm just trying to go through it now. Like these, <laughs> I actually, when I pulled this out, I realized I actually needed to fill our dishwasher. So now this is empty and this has like a splash in it, but it's actually expired. So I'm gonna throw that out. Um, we have this empty can for the baking grease, so I like to keep that underneath, and I just happened to open the can the other day and knew I needed it. Like, I've got Epsom salt here, which should be in the bathroom. We've got one magic eraser in this whole box. Uh, and I don't know what happened, but I realized I have two stain, carpet stain cleaners, so I don't know what happened there. I think it must have gotten hidden somehow, even though there's not much in there. Um, I had got this Tide into bacterial fabric spray, um, I did not like it. I know a lot of people raved about it and we actually had gotten it for some of Ed's like work stuff, like his helmet, um, not his helmet, like his hard hat. Um, but it really did not work great. Uh, it was not as good as I thought it would be. So, um, probably end up getting rid of it. Uh, like I say, I got a lot of these rags that I think I'm going to put in there. This is another drying mat for over here. And I actually have one more that's this size. Um, I just switched it out this morning. So I'm going to try to put all that in here. This one's a little bigger. Um, this is actually our, uh, I will use this if I'm like washing inside my, uh, my, I'm like pointing at, I can't even think of the word, my oven. Like I'll make my little paste in there and use it and use the water. But we also use this as our barf bucket. I got this at the dollar <laughs> store. Um, but this is like our barf bucket. Um, I have this big thing of soap, which I do need to clean, uh, fill mine on the sink. But then I had bought a couple of these small ones cause they were like the, the best value. Uh, when I was at Target. So I actually might just dump them into this one just so we have one big one. I have gotten this Barkeeper's Friend. I know a lot of people rave about it. I was not a fan. I'm really not a big fan of it. Um, I'm going to use it up, but my mom has a lot of stainless steel. Um, her, She's got a pretty big sink, so I might ask her if she wants it because I'm just not a fan. This is just like some random stuff that I just need to find a home for or get rid of. And then, then we've got our big box of trash bags because I realized we go through them a lot and it was just easier to buy the big box. So I'm going to get going on this and hopefully I can get this done before Miss Mia wakes up. Oh my gosh, guys. I think that didn't even take me 10 minutes and it's done. So here's what it looks like now. I put everything in this big bucket. I put um, the soap. I did end up putting those two smaller ones in there. And then like I have my cleaners in here. Um, this is like my uh, copper cleaner. I have some pans, my cleaning paste from Norworks, which I actually love. I use all the time. We have some Goo Gone, um, and then just like SOS pads, some other sponges and all this. My, uh, I use reusable sponges that you wash. So I put everything in here and it's just so much more convenient. And there is room for that other one to come in here. My dishwasher pad, uh, pods, the little, like I said, the little grease thing, my buff bucket. Um, and then I just put the carpet cleaners here and 
or toilet, or not toilet paper, paper towels. And then I just took the lid off of this because I kept having to like open it every time we needed it. It was just a pain. So I did that. So let me show you kind of what I did. So I did fill our soap and then I had a different, this actually, this silicone one was actually underneath because I had this purple one on here. Uh, these are from Grove Collaborative and the purple one I got for like, it was like free one month, but honestly it just really like stuck out on my sink and I really have not been liking it for a while now and I've been thinking of switching it out and I couldn't figure out where it was. It was under there. <laughs> so I switched that out. I like it better. Um, my mom and mother-in-law actually have the same container so I might ask them if they want to spare. Um, these are just some sponges I'm going to throw out. These are the empty soaps. Um, I don't use this bottle brush. I did use it when the kids, obviously when Mia was still a baby but we just don't use it anymore. So I don't, I might put it aside and see if like maybe I need it in a few months, but I think it's gonna go in the quarantine bucket. That'll probably be put away soon. Um, this is also empty, so I'm gonna throw that out. Uh, I did send a message to my mom and mother-in-law to see if they wanted to try these. Um, if not, I have a couple of friends that might use it. Um, if not, I'll get rid of it. And then these are just boxes that I broke down. These were what I was using underneath. So I actually think this actually does fit in the cabinets. And I know that because I have one right there for our baking, or supposed to be baking stuff. I don't think there's all baking stuff in there. But um, I think I'm gonna use it for now. Granted, I know we're gonna be moving in a couple, like a month and a half, but at least for now, it'll be easy. I think I am going to put like the candy and loose stuff in there. Jeffrey, shh. Um, and then these little ones, I'm actually gonna take this one out. This has got like our meds. We like to keep like Tylenol and Benadryl out here. Uh, the kids meds, you know, vitamins. So I think I'm gonna try to put them in here, but do like a kids one and like an adult one. So that like, if we're looking for like the kids stuff, we could just take this down. Or if we're looking for, you know, Tums or something, we can just, you know, grab the adult one and I'll probably put labels on them. So I think I might do that next. Um, but yeah, at least now we're done underneath the sink. Okay, so I did a little rearranging. Um, so this had the meds in it, and now I've got them into these two containers. And then these were just like extra stuff. Like this actually has to go to the bathroom. I need to throw these out. I, for some reason, had two of these in here. So I'm gonna put that um, with our other oils. And this is just gonna go back like in our big medicine box, just cause it's stuff we don't use all the time. So I'm gonna put that stuff away, throw it out, put these back in here. So I actually think that they'll fit actually take up probably less room but let's see yeah and I even could probably I might put them sideways I think yeah um and then I will put label I'll make labels for them oops just knocked over Robert's hand sanitizer um, <laughs> uh but I probably I will label these but the label maker is in my room and Mia's still sleeping so I have to wait and then I did put all the candy in here and it was all in this one plus overflowing up there so I think now it's just gonna oh, it's heavy though um but now I just think that just looks so much better oh perfect so those just two little areas and I want to say like 20 25 minutes I gotta put that back up there <laughs> uh so I feel pretty good I'm sure I will use this I actually am thinking I might use this one for some of like my oils that I use all the time that I can just grab them and just pull it out or if I can get it to maybe fit over here. We're gonna see, we'll see what happens. All right, so I cleaned out this cabinet and actually Robert helped because I got up on the stool and realized I didn't have the cloth to clean it out. Um, and while I was up here, I cleaned it this bad boy. <laughs> um, so here's everything that was in here. We have this, um, this is actually like a specialty chocolate for a certain um, frosting recipe that my husband really likes. Um, his mom's been making, actually his grandmother, I think it was, has been making it for years. Um, she's no longer around, but I, I actually have the recipe, but I think I can fit the chocolate in this container. This is one of those OXO containers. I have some, um, we had like a lot of like chocolate chip kind of items. Like I think this one actually had like peanut butter chips in it. So, um, but we just don't have them in there anymore. We ended up with a lot around Christmas time, but since it's empty, I'm actually going to see if I can fit this in here and I'm just going to label it that it's the special, the, you know, that it's, it's actually called Drosty chocolate, but it just doesn't, I didn't, <laughs> this is like the best way I could seal it. So, um, I'm going to do that. Um, I've got like my sugars here 
just kind of taken like an inventory. I kind of just, as I was taking them out, I just threw them in here because the bucket was here and I had to, you know, put down on the counter. Um, I was checking like the breadcrumbs. I have these Planko breadcrumbs. We got these as like a substitution when I ordered from Aldi one time. They didn't have regular breadcrumbs. This is the ones I wanted. Um, so they substituted for this and I have used it a couple times, but I'm actually going to be doing a pork chop recipe and I'm going to actually use this up. And I realized this is really low, so I need to get some more of that. So I'm just going to kind of go through these, um, check dates on everything. I think everything's fine, but I'm going to check dates. And then I think the most frequently used ones I will put in this container and then just kind of go from there. Okay. Oops. Sorry. My fingers are a little over it. <laughs> um, so that was a fail. It was a little too much in there and then I put the lid on and I made a mess. Yeah. But I do have, <laughs> we have like this little bit of M&Ms. The kids like the mini M&Ms better, which we have a container of. So what I'm going to do is actually combine the M&Ms and then I'm going to put the chocolate in this container because it's actually a little bigger, which will be perfect. And then I'll clean up the mess. <laughs> Did I make a mess? <laughs> All right, so I've definitely done uh, some great work. Here's the stuff that we're getting rid of. These are expired, actually. This expires in one day, so I'm like, it's rice wine vinegar. I can't even remember the last time I used it, so I'm not concerned. Molasses, there's like less than half in here, but it is expired, like a while expired. Um, these are just all um, food coloring. I have a bunch of new ones, because obviously, as you can see, they're really discolored. I'm pretty sure they're expired, um, but I bought new ones. So, um, and then these sprinkles are just very expired. So here's what I was able to do with all of like my oils and stuff. It all did fit in here. Um, these are all of them. This is actually a spare. I have one here, but, uh, we go through it pretty quickly. I need to buy a bigger one and kind of refill, but I just don't have the room. So, um, here's my spare. And then here are the breadcrumbs, which I'll put back up in the cabinet. Um, and then over here, this is just like these actually, I only thought I had one cause it was in the package, but the other one fell out. So I got two of these. We'll put, these are my sugars. These are like our baking stuff. And I did go through here. <laughs> one of these little compartments had opened up. So it was like all green inside. So I was able to go through, as you can see, these are the two um uh food colorings so i had bought one and then i thought i still needed more i forgot i bought one so i actually have a second one so they're actually good these are like all of our sprinkles all of our toothpicks candles um our cupcake liners and then cookie cutters and then this is it's actually supposed to be for frosting but i actually use it for my meringues and i usually put it on top of there because that's what we use the most so now i'm gonna get put up here and show you what it looks like all right, so I'm actually up on my <laughs> step stool so I could get everything up here. So this will be great because then I can just pull it down and I put the stuff we use the most right in front. So that's great. And then I just had the extra olive oil here with the breadcrumbs next to them. And then the baking stuff, this is pretty much how I had it. It's just a little more organized. The confectionery sugar is in the back, the regular sugar, and then I just put the shortenings on top of the confectionery sugar. But I can see it, so that's great. And then this is all the baking stuff. So coming along today getting way more done than i thought i would see it really doesn't like this one didn't take me very long to do i had pulled it all out and then we I had to deal with the little two-year-old who was having a hard day so i just sat there for a while but then actually going through it probably only took me like five minutes Okay, so I just pulled all of my recipe books out. Um, so this is my binder that I have like everything printed, ones that we've used a lot. I do use this one quite frequently. So this one will definitely stay out. We use like three, maybe four recipes out of here. They are marked. So I'm actually gonna make copies of them along with this one. And then we'll put these away because these are really nice ones. I don't wanna get rid of them. Um, but we'll probably just pack them away so they're not in the kitchen. Uh, we've never used this one. So that one's going to get packed away along with this one. This is actually one that my mother's, my mother-in-law's uh, quilting guild put together, but I have the ones that we use all the time in there. So, but I don't want to get rid of it because it is really special. Uh, so I want to keep those. And then this one I've actually never used. I have no idea where it came from. I don't know if it was a gift or something, um, but I'm definitely going to give this to, um, definitely be donating that so I will put that in the box which actually that's the first thing to go in the box so far <laughs> um so I will be putting that one away this one will go into storage and then these two will go into storage once I get the recipes copied my I just turned my printer on so it's still loading up and then like I said this one I do use a lot of the time and I pick out some new ones out of here all the time but this is one um honestly I don't even know I think my mother-in-law got me this one like either the year before we got married 
or the year we got married is. So we're talking, it's like at least 10 years old because we'll be married for 10 years this year. Um, so the Taste of Home Cookbook, I absolutely love this one because it has four different ways that you can do one recipe that's classic time saver light or serves two. Um, it's just great and it's got like all the like food equivalents and just, it's just amazing. I absolutely love this. If you are trying to find like uh, somebody who doesn't cook much or like somebody who cooks all the time too, this is a great one because I cook all the time, but this like definitely gets me out of my comfort zone, which is awesome. All right, so we are done with all of this. So this was like stuff that was stuck, like some manuals, some recipe, little recipe books that were stuck like in the sides here. And so I just went through them. If there was anything in here I wanted, I ripped it out. Um, these ones are fine. Once I, like I just, when I got them all, I just threw them in here so that if I had to go back, I'll show you what I did with the ones that I kept. But I also went through and took out any recipes that we just don't make. Um, I also had this, um, it was a, like an ebook, but I printed it out because I wanted the recipes. And so I've read this, this was really great. She actually, um, see I actually don't know if she's on Instagram anymore um, but it was really great she came out with this uh, like a year and a half ago I got it right away I picked out I've been just like keeping this I had it clipped in the top here but never did anything with it after I've read it so what I did was I took out my favorite um, tips from her recipes and I put them in here and here's what my recipe lookbook looks like so as you can see I have each section so this is like all you know appetizers and they're just in here here's an example my pampered chef breakfast sandwich maker i actually haven't even used it yet but i wanted the manual like with the breakfast so that way when i go to make it i know where it is um so i just did this with all of them so like here's all my other recipes um and in the back i did it ooh, i opened up right to it this is the creamsicle maker and then this is the ice cream maker and i thought i'd put it with desserts and then in the back is where we keep our menus to places we like so quick and easy so these are like all of our favorite recipes and like I said I am going to keep this one out too just because I do use this one like a ton I would have to take so many recipes out it's not even worth it and plus I go in there and look for new ones all the time so I want this one out and we'll keep our good one um, I am going to get rid of this guy um, and then I will put these in our storage um, because like I said we don't want to get rid of them but I just don't need them out all the time because we just really don't have the space okay so this shelf up here where all our plates are these i really don't need to bother with they're fine um i just put the recipe books back but up here these are actually divided trays we use these when we like are kind of like breading things like you know chicken parm veal uh, eggplant parm those are awesome but it came with this like tong thing that is not great so i'm gonna get rid of that um these like i said i'm gonna see if my mom wants everything i think and then the only thing left here is, yeah, it's the ice cream maker. So that bad boy will stay because this is this is heavy. This you actually freeze and then you cook you cook it. Um, you make the ice cream in there, so that's kind of big. But that alone actually made quite a bit of room. Like I said, oh, that doesn't go that way. Um, this we use very frequently, but actually I might see if I can put it like on its side over here and see if that makes it maybe fit a little better. Kind of like those actually that's better much much better so that cabinet is pretty much done because this is everything we use all the time okay so here's this cabinet while I'm up here I figured I'll take everything down and deal with this one next okay well I took everything out which is right here I realized I have these three wine glasses which my nephew does not have any so what I'm gonna do is actually shove them over to his side and actually I have quite a bit um, so I actually, I actually have an odd number and he has an odd number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him four so that he has some because he doesn't have any. So instead of packing them away, I am just going to leave these ones for him so that when it comes time for him to entertain, um, when we leave, he will have some wine glasses. Man, that cabinet maybe took me a minute and a half. <laughs> so this is our coffee maker. I don't keep it out because we don't have coffee very often. Um, but I do keep it here. I need to put that back inside. It's just when I, when we washed it. I think I put this back and that was still washing. Um, I ended, okay, never a dull moment. All right, so I realized I had three vases. This one is ginormous and this one's really small. That's the one I've had for, oh my God, since Ed and I lived, <laughs> moved in together like 11 years, 11, 12 years ago. Um, and it's honestly just a perfect size. I don't do flowers very often, so why the crap do I have three? All right, 
and then a bunch of water bottles. These are the ones that the kids used to take to school. Um, they really didn't like them very much, but they were great because they were insulated. But since we're not in school now, it doesn't make any sense. So I have friends who actually, they really like these cups. So I will ask her if she wants them first. Um, this one, it leaked. I didn't really like it. So I don't know why we saved it. I do have this pitcher for like, if you like mixed drinks. I don't think we've mixed drinks in two years so I'm not quite sure I'm torn on if I should keep it or just get rid of it um, like I said it's been so long I feel like at this point if we do mix them we I would just buy a new one so as you can see it is really old and dingy this is the one thing I'm very torn more than this <laughs> which I think is going to go to the donate pile okay my mom got me this cute cup it's really nice it's insulated it's big but it doesn't seal very well. <laughs> um, and she has one too. And she complains of our one very similar, same brand. And it, she complains about it too. And I'm like, I don't even use it. It's been up in that cabinet. So I'm like, I think it just needs to go. I think I just need to let it go. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it go. I'm not talking about it. So these two things are going back in that cabinet. Done and done. Okay, I'm going to tackle this drawer. I did add some towels to it because I did some laundry. And I'm hoping I can, I wanted to see if this would fit in here. Um, I had all of these in this little caddy, which is nice, but I'm going to have less counter space at the new place. So I wanted to see if they would fit in this. And then I can just put it in here because there's stuff in here that I don't use. So let's see. Okay, so I rearranged everything to see if it works better. I'll probably end up fixing it again, but we'll see. So I put the towels, um, these are the dish towels, the hand towels, and then these little, um, these are counter cloths that I had in that black little thing on the counter. Um, and then these are my cleaning cloths. I have the mini ones, and then I have two of these. They're actually pot holders for when you have a bowl, uh, to put it around the bowl when they're hot. So um, I actually had four of them, but I honestly never use all four so I actually left two for my nephew and put it in the cabinet for him because he uses them all the time and then I went through all of our little bins here so this bin was actually that red one right here um, that is actually cracked on both ends and I've just been using actually it's cracked like several places um, these were actually batteries they have the tester on it they're dead um, I took all the little ones out of the boxes to put them in a bag and then that one actually was corroding on the bottom so we're gonna throw those out um, so I just put everything in here. Here's a little bag with all the little ones, but at least this way I can see what I have better. This is all like our chip clips and then like bottle openers and our caps for our wine when we need them. And this one is like, like I said, I keep little tools out here for when we need them. Like when we're like changing batteries out of things, uh, it just makes life a lot easier. So I put them all in here. But I cleaned it out at least because there was like crap in there. Um, so I feel like that's so much better. And then it frees up some space on the counter. Like I said, we will be moving. So I'm just trying to make it so it's easier for myself. Um, and so I'll be getting rid of this. And then I know my mom has some. So I might ask her if she wants this. If not, I'll be getting rid of it. And I actually pulled this out in case I needed it when I was getting the other one to replace this. So making progress. Okay. Next, we're doing the cup cabinet, and then I think I might call it a day. I have done all of this in one day so far. I'm pretty impressed with myself. While still homeschooling, taking care of the kids, but um, there was an extra wine glass in here. I did say that, that I brought, put it in the cabinet for my nephew, but I know there's some stuff here that can go, so I'm going to get going. Okay, this looks so much better. So that's like our pasta making stuff in the drying rack for the pastas behind there. And then this is just we have two coffee mugs. I did have Ed's big one there. That was one the kids picked out for Father's Day last year. And he does love it. He just doesn't use it. So we're going to put it away um, just to conserve space. And then I've got the extra wine glasses. We have four that are hanging up all the time under our wine. But these are extra ones. These are all of our like flavored waters. Those are always out. And then I kind of organized down here a little bit. These are our glasses. Um, here are the kids. These are the new cups that they just got for Christmas. And then these are the other ones that have lids. Um, and I went through these because we had like the smaller ones um, that Mia doesn't use anymore. And then a couple that are just like a little, they have like big cracks. And we just bought these new ones because she wanted straw ones. So I went through those. I also went through these ones in the back. Um, getting rid of, I'll be right there, sweetheart. Getting rid of this one because we only need room for four. Um, these are ones that we just don't like anymore. And these ones are actually expired. I forgot they were they were tucked back there. So I went through that. Um, and then these are the cups we're going to get rid of. I have to just grab the lid and the straw, um, which is 
in that drawer and then the straw for Batman and put those away too. But we're gonna get rid of those because we just don't use them anymore. Okay, now today, day two, we're tackling this. So I'm gonna tackle this side. Um, this side's pretty fine as you saw yesterday. I did that one and this right here and I kind of organized as I went. So everything's fine here, um, but I'm gonna do that other side. This drawer is fine. This one, I am going to take a look at and see what I can find in here. And then I'm going to do the underneath. So that is the goal today. So first step, taking all of this out. Okay, so I pulled everything out and I started going through some things first. Um, my brown sugar, I actually had an open bag. So I filled this up. Um, this is going to get emptied. They are stale, but me is eating them right now. These garlic sauce, these hot, no, this is garlic hot sauce. These three were in like a box set. The box is actually right here. I mean, if you had gotten edit for Ed this for Christmas, they have like a hot sauce thing going between the two of them. But there were some great recipes on the back. So I cut it out and I put them over there because I keep like all the recipes to boxes. Like if we or like the directions, if I put them in the freezer, especially from like Sam's because those boxes get so big. Um, so this was the brown sugar. There was like half in here. I ended up emp em emptying these two. I'll show you in a minute. This is actually expired. Only expired like two months ago. I'm shocked I... It, I didn't make it before then, um, but it happens. Uh, so I had filled these guys up here. These are like our seasonings that we use a lot. Um, you know, we got paprika. Um, there's magnets on the back of it. I forget. Where the heck did I get this? Bespoke Post. It's like this monthly subscription for guys. Um, so we've got um, red pepper or like the red pepper flakes, paprika, uh, cumin, cinnamon, uh, Italian seasoning, we got fennel. This is like adobe. This is it. Yeah. Uh, seasoning and then taco seasoning. So I had like the top, we had some that were like bigger ones. So I put them in there and then like I kind of went through to make sure all the dates were fine. And I actually was able to make room because I had some that were just like sitting out. So everything fits perfectly now, which is great. Everything here is fine. I checked everyone's dates. Uh, these are brand new. So those were fine. Um, and I checked all the dates on this stuff. Everything's great. So I'll just be putting it back. Um, honestly, this bag is kind of, has a hole in it, so I'm gonna just throw it out. I'll put it over here. It's just um, a few ice cream cones. And then I have, which I didn't realize, I have more cupcake liners here. And if you saw, they're actually up in my cup, uh, my baking. So I'm gonna put them in there. And then these, I had gotten these, it was a four pack. It, they're for eggs. Um, it was like, easier to like make hard boiled eggs and stuff. Honestly, I feel like it's a pain in the butt. I thought it would make it easier. Um, I, I, these are like, I think they were the S seen on TV. I had found them at the dollar store and it was four for a dollar. So honestly, I have not used them in over six months. And honestly, they're such, just such a pain and they're a pain to clean too. So I am actually going to throw these bad boys out and yeah just call that a day but everything else like I just bought a new candle which is up there to replace this one I only have one candle in the house or technically two right now but I only keep one out um and it's usually just to keep like the smell from like cooking so this is like my replacement because it's getting low I have a bunch of these like what is it like muffin mixes for us to make muffins do you need more more marshmallows okay uh this is the only thing I haven't gone through yet for dates uh so I am definitely going to be going through this. And I actually think I might see if I, I don't know if they're going to fit in here. I'll probably end up keeping in this because I usually have more. Uh, we've just been using a lot up. So there's that. Like I've got one yeast packet. So I will check all the dates on here. But other than that, then I think it would be starting. That's the lid to this. I just don't want to throw the lid out, but I don't keep the lid on because I like to just get in there. But I like don't want to throw the lid out because what if someday I don't use this for this and I could use it you know, regular Tupperware. So yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then we do have pump, uh, pancake mix. My nephew I bought a bunch of it one day. I had said how I needed to get more pancake mix for when, um, Jeffrey wants to do this, like he wants to color, do coloring, um, like different colored batter and then like make designs out of it. And we just haven't done it yet. So he happened to go to the store the day we talked about it and bought two boxes. So, I mean, it's not that we won't use it. We just have a lot right now. This is my box of donate stuff. I just pulled out, uh, just, we went to the donation this morning. So everything is gone from the house, but I'm like, I do need another box just in case. So I am going to, like I said, I'm going to go through these. I'm going to throw this stuff out and then 
we'll start putting the stuff all back. All right, so here's the cabinet now. It looks amazing. Um, so one thing I did is that container right there had the little cupcake liners in it and those egg things, and it fit the five packages perfectly, which is great. I had a ton of room, which is awesome. Cleaned all of this up. It looks so great. Hold on, Mia. Everything's down here. Um, I ended up, it's like, did not fit with the caps on. So I just took the caps off. This one's actually almost, I'll probably kill this one this weekend. I put all the so hot sauces here because that's where Ed likes them. Um, I did end up, unfortunately, both of my ranch packets <laughs> were expired. So I had to throw those out. Um, it's just sad. Yes, honey. Okay, I'll help you in a minute. So, and I just got to throw those bad guys out. And I actually decided to put the egg things in the donate box because I figured somebody might like them. Um, so... Now I'm going to move on to the drawer next. Like I said, I could do under here. There's not much that I don't use under there. And then I also realized I haven't done up there yet. So yeah, but that's okay. But I'm going to do the drawer next. Okay. This drawer took me just a few minutes. I just rearranged a few things and I grabbed this little caddy. Um, we did have the knife holder back there. It was this one, which it just didn't work very well. Um, and I do have this one now, which we've had for a while. There was only, oh, careful, watch out, Mia, watch out. Um, these two knives back here were in there along with the bread knife, which is in the, the um, sink right now. But I'm just gonna put that back there with the kit. One of the, this is one of the kids' little um, knives that they use, but I'm just gonna put it back there laying down and it'll be fine. Um, and then I just kinda put everything in here. It's not the best, but I feel like utensils are just, they're just one of those crazy things. I didn't really, like I said, that's the only thing that I got decluttered. So I might do these next or I might do above the stove, the sink, not the sink. What is that? <laughs> My fridge, Mia. What is mommy's problem today? The fridge, yeah, the fridge. I think that one's gonna win. All right, so I took everything out of there. That's a baking pan and there's actually our charcuterie board on top, in t inside of it. It's just, it doesn't fit well in here. This one's kind of small, so I'm just, we just keep it on top of there, but I took everything out. That actually goes inside the freezer, but we just never use, the ice maker is actually not even hooked up, and that's a bit cell maker, so that's all great, but I just emptied everything, because the only things that I was going to be leaving up there was the alcohol. This is an empty water bottle. Ed uses this for ice. Um, this one, I got to talk to Ed, because I don't know why the heck we were saving this. I know why we were saving these two, but... It was just three those bottles in this cup, in this plastic container. So I am actually going to put them up here so that I don't even have to come back up here when we moved. Um, a few things I threw in here. These are the ice packs I had talked about that we just don't even use. These actually go to this. It is a triple crock pot that I've used once in three years. I think that's gonna get go to consignment, but or not, um, not consignment, Goodwill. Um, but those were, those went to that and I just didn't use them. Um, these are some glasses that are like sentimental. So I'm going to pack these away. These are the bottles we bought for that pancake thing. I am going to pack some of them away and keep some out. And then I had, I don't know why, but there was freaking chopsticks up there. And then skewers, which I, again, can't remember the last time we used skewers. So I am going to get rid of those put those up there. Um, the only other thing that was in there were these guys. Um, these are just plain pint glasses. All of our pint glasses have sayings on them. Um, but we have a few that are like have no writing. So I'm actually going to leave those ones for my nephew. And then these, um, he had bought us some Di Sirono, um, cause I needed it for a pie and it came in these really cool containers. So he wanted to save it. So I'm going to put up in his container in his little area up here. Okay, so I put all the alcohol up there. We need to hear back about Ed for that bottle. So I don't want to throw it out yet unless there's like something we need to do. Um, I did take this bin out that has like this stuff. I did put, I wrapped up those cups. Um, it's got the like cookbooks in there. And I realized I had these guys, which are, um, they're for in the fridge. Use them for like soda bottles, put them sideways. We tried seeing if that would work better. It really didn't. So I am going to see... I have a friend who I think might use them. If not, they'll go to the oil. I also found this in here, which we don't have these bottles anymore. It's a brand new container. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And then the other thing I did was I put those bottles up there. I only put four and then I put the rest in 
here. I figured if we do anything, I doubt we'll do more than four colors. So that is good. So that area is done. All that's left is down here. <laughs> what are you doing, you little goober? But I have to move somebody first. Mia, are you going to move so I can get into the cabinet? Cabinet. She's like, no, I'm eating my Oreo first. So I think we're doing good. Almost done. This is the last area. All right, so here we are in here. I don't know why the flash just turned on. These were my pots and pans, which really, I will be keeping all of them. And then with my mixer, and I just think the lid's over there, like the spill guard part. Um, this bottom one, I have not used in years, so I'm going to get rid of it. The rest of them I do use. And then those are my, like, casserole dishes, which I do use. Oh, these guys we use. And then back there, I think it's just some, like, silverware and stuff which I don't want to get rid of because I feel like we might need them, but at least I want to get everything out because it definitely needs to be vacuumed. Is this a freaking Tic Tac in here? Mia, why is there a Tic Tac in here? And because I keep the toaster in here, like it, you get toaster bite little pieces. Um, and that's like my uh, pasta flour. So it's not bad in here. Like I said, I'm just gonna, now that I know that I have those, those will be good for when we move, you know, those first few days or if we're there like, and I'm unpacking and it's lunchtime. I can like get the kids some stuff. I'll probably end up going to like the dollar store and get some pa uh, plates and bowls and stuff. Cause that's what I did when we moved last time. No, we're not going to take the mixer out. So like I said, I'm going to take this, that's going to go and um, then just vacuum in here. And I think that's it. There's really nothing else to go. It's just a really awkward space is what it is. <sighs> All right guys. So the kitchen is done. I know this is like a longer video than normal, but let's face it kitchen takes some time to take everything out and to go through everything but I'm feeling so much better and I feel like there is less even though it wasn't a ton and this box like isn't even full I did hear from my friend and she already has those containers for the fridge so that's fine but at least now I'll have that I'm actually going to take that crock pot that triple crock pot down so that I'll put it into the closet for when we go to the um goodwill next because I did go already this morning when I filmed the intro but I knew I was going to finish this today and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to wait anymore because we have no plans for like four days. So I'm like, I'm going to take those boxes. So I might even go bring that downstairs and just put it in my car so it's done. But now I feel like so, I feel so much better because now the kitchen is done. One more area and that's a big area. I mean, this one that you're in all the time, but once it functions better and there's not the clutter, you feel so much better. So hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will have the playlist in the description below for the other declutter videos that I've been doing recently.